swinging around. So the uh, kitchen painting. This one's called Fruits of Our Labors. Mm -hmm. It's called Fruits of Our Labors. Um, it's also called Tropical Abundance. Um, the original was Fruit of Our Labor. And I never did like the sprig of orchids. Um, I loved all the other parts of it. This was a commission, John. Again, it was our first commission. This had to be about 2005. Um, I remember looking, buying pineapple. I remember putting all kinds of things together, taking lots and lots of photos to get your idea. I, I had pictures of food on a plate, on a table, in a basket. Um, we went through so much in and back and forth of what you wanted. Um, and you ended up just wanting fruit filling up the six foot canvas. <laughs> um, Danny and I tra went all over the island to find this big uh, thing of uh, bananas that we cut from a tree and put it in his car and, and photographed that over and over all kinds. And the little thing coming down at the banana flower, um, that's all. We went to the tree and we got that. So a lot of effort like that went into it. Um, so I, lo I loved everything about it, but I never liked the flowers. I, I don't know why they, they well, because they were horrible. Um, and when I made a G clay of this that was four feet long instead of six feet, but four feet, I redid the flowers totally. And at that time I said, you know what? I like my new flowers so much better. I would like to redo your flowers just because my name's on this. Well, not this one either. <laughs> well, I will be signing them. Um, this is, you know, but I like this a lot better than the one over there that you've got a little print of. Which, by the way, I would just throw that in the rubbish. Well, it's it's there to show the difference. And I have you know, another in my office. And, and yes, and actually I gave one of those to someone at the party the other night that I got it as a prize for the game. And she just loved it. So, oh well. But this one, finally when you saw what I had done, you said, yeah, okay, I, 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 I see your point redo this one so we took this back to my house oh 10 years later it was long time, yeah long time later and uh eight years later and uh and i went back and redid all these flowers so it looks much more um realistic and pretty and it fits in and um they don't look fake they look like part of and uh i put the butterfly put, made that purple um, I don't know if you can see, there's a dragonfly up there next to the banana flower, which I just Which love. is not in the prints. And then there's way up there, there's a little guy, a little owl, kind of uh, hiding in the dark, peeking through. So some of these fun little surprises. And way over here, there's a little gecko. Fun little surprises that you kind of see as you go along. So, yeah, a lot of effort went into this, and I'm really happy now with how it looks. I'm, I'm glad we did that. You know, I, I'm, I'm a perfectionist, and I want things to turn out perfect. perfect speaking, of, speaking of perfect, there are two paintings on this wall that we're very proud of having at our house. <laughs> and this was also a commission. And it's called Mangoes by the Sea, if I'm not Mangoes mistaken. on the Beach. Mangoes on the Beach. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mangoes on the Beach. Um, the reason they're nice and big and bold is because that's what you wanted. And I remember making smaller mangoes, and you said, bigger. <laughs> I said, bigger mangoes, bigger. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> and they're bold, and they're beautiful. And you know, there are people who actually tell me this is the best picture. There's their favorite and uh, several years ago I kept hearing people say, oh this is the best thing you've ever done. So people like big and bold and in your face. Um, I personally like the leaves. I love how the leaves come forward. Um, I, I really am happy with the leaves. But anyway, um, John, you remember you had a um, little paper print it was a William Blackman print that I pulled out of a rubbish can. And when I first moved back to Hawaii, I loved the idea of mangoes by the beach. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I showed that to you mm -hmm. to give you sort of the starting idea. But yeah. th those mangoes were very tiny. 
and you said, do you think you could do something like this maybe even better? And I said, uh-huh. <laughs> Let's do that. So, yeah. And juxtaposed. And speaking of bold, one of your boldest and, and also one of your best is this lionfish. Do well, you want to say anything about it? The story behind the lionfish. Um, I had created a lionfish that a friend of mine had purchased. Um, it, it was about the same size. It was the same kind of look and intensity, different colors, blues and greens, um, but the same kind of feel. And um, he bought it and he loved it. And uh, you folks came along and said, oh, I want that one. So can you see if that guy will sell it? And he said, Barb, I love you, but I love the fish. I'm keeping it. <laughs> so uh, he said, paint another. And it took about a year. And finally one day I said, I, I, I could paint another. I'll paint another. And, um, and we ended up with this. And uh, yeah, this was, this. talk about anal retentive. This took so long, so painstaking. Um, because it was the style where every time you have two pieces of paint together, the orange and the white, the white and the and the background. Um, every time you have any paint together, you take another clean brush and you come down and you soften the edge. And it's just a very, very time-consuming method. Um, but I think it turned out really well. I think you, it turned out very well, too. So, um, yeah. So, uh, I call it Water Brother. After the, um, was it Ron? Heinlein book? Who who wrote that book, Water Brother? I don't know. Um, yeah. I know people who have a Water Brother as their license plate. Um, and uh, so it was the star of a, of a sci-fi 60s book. And um, there you go, Water Brother. Looking, here's looking at you. It's nice that the leaf blower has changed. I can hear birds in the background. Now. That's very nice. <laughs> Uh, there's this little painting that just fits beautifully where it's at. What's that called, anyway? Is it called special? Because uh, the one that's um, more in focus is like special. We all want to be special. So uh, she's getting to be special for a few minutes <laughs> until we change focus and something else comes into focus. Um, it was a little bit of a uh, experiment. Uh, nowadays, after many, many years of this painstaking, blended method. Um, I have fun doing just really quick um, one day wonders and uh, that's what this one is. Just kind of a fun. I needed to paint. I had a small canvas and that's what uh, turned out special. And we had asked you for one day wonder to cover this spot but that's just not in the cards. Not in the cards yet. Okay, hey, uh, we have a painting of bananas at the end of the hall. Oh, that's would you right. like it looks to, good from here. Would you like to head down there and tell us about it? You put it in a good space. <laughs>